Hello YouTube friends, Dr. Teresa here. I wasn't going to do an update this week, but Jason S. told me he found the video so helpful, I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and do a short one. I just realized I am at the one and a half year mark with my current herd of dwarf seahorses. I have raised them through a couple of generations until their population reached over maybe 120-ish in a 10 gallon tank. And it was shortly after that that they started getting sick. And those of you who have been following, I've tried several different treatments. I've reached out to different breeders, researchers. Uh, I finally started to have things improve after I broke down my aquarium, sterilized it, and have been upgrading. And this week I went to a 10-gallon aquarium because the seahorses were doing so well but I started losing some again. So I'm at the point now, I feel I've done all I can. I don't want to put the seahorses through any more medication treatments. I'm just going to enjoy them for as long as I can and see if this die off levels off on its own. I probably still have 40-ish dwarf seahorses left. Just a couple of interesting things from this past week. One, I was having the worst trouble hatching brine shrimp. I think it has something to do with in the Midwest of the United States we've been super hot so the air conditioning has been on a lot and it's interfering with the ability of brine shrimp to get warm enough to hatch. Second, I put on my smallest hang on the back power filter with a sponge filter as I would have normally done but it seemed like it was really too strong for the dwarf seahorses. And I don't remember it being like that, even with a higher volume hang on the back device that I had. So I ended up going back to the sponge filters for now. And let's just see how that works. So I'm just gonna remain relaxed, low key, and enjoy them for as long as I can. And who knows, maybe I'll have a pleasant surprise. Thanks for inspiring me to keep going, Jason. Sometimes it can get really depressing and discouraging, but it's nice to know others out there are watching and learning. Take care, and I hope to see you again soon.